Good morning loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. It's Saturday and it's a fantastic weather here in the uh, west of Sweden. Uh, it's always like a competition between the west and the east coast in Sweden. I live on the east coast in Stockholm. And uh, the west coast has like what we call the, the, the little brother complex. So they call themselves the sunny coast. And uh, to be fairly honest, it's, most of the time it's raining here. But not today. Yay! I'm visiting a friend in her country cottage and it's absolutely stunning. So uh, we've, we've been having breakfast at like a buffet in this little village. And, like It's so incredibly beautiful. And I was struck um, of how similar like the summer villages are all over the world. When I was working in New York, like I think it's seven years ago now, I was spending the weekends out in the Hamptons and the Hamptons is much more luxury than here but it's kind of the same vibe like you have the same kind of boutiques and the, you know the restaurants and it's like a, everyone's kind of friendly and you know each other it's it's really cool and also in LA you have Newport Beach and uh, all those like summer villages are very similar wherever you are in the world and in, in Italy and uh, France it's also the, the kind of same vibe so I feel very privileged to, to be here and last night I was at a concert um, with a Swedish artist called uh, Lars Winnebeck and uh, he's from the city where I grew up and we used to know them a little, like uh, my parents know his parents so I used to know him a little bit, not not well, he's older than I am, but uh, it's so beautiful to see him live and see what he's accomplished, you know, through the years. It was, I was crying the whole concert and it was absolutely amazing. You can check <laughs> check out the part of the concert on, on my Instagram, which is Marling Yoga on Instagram. Um, let's get down on our sitting bones. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Pay attention to how it feels inside you right now in this moment. Don't try to change anything, just observe. Observe your breathing. Pay attention to where it's located in your body. We're going to lengthen and deepen our breath. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Continue, follow your own breath.
We're gonna let this breathing lead us through this class. We're gonna start with a with a shoulder roll. Why we do this uh, all rolls right now is because I've been so 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 stiff. And yesterday when I was driving here, there was like this thing in the um, window, so I had to sit like this and drive for two hours. It's not very comfortable. So we're gonna start on the on the inhalation. We roll our shoulders back. On the exhalation, come forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Continue, follow your own breath. Switch direction. Stop in neutral position. And we're gonna do this hip roller because it's, I don't know why I've been doing it like every day this week. Maybe because I feel like my body needs it. So on the inhalation, come forward. On the exhalation, come back. Inhale forward. Switch direction. neutral position and come up to all our fours place your hands shoulder width apart place your knees hip width apart and on the inhalation come forward with your belly look halfway up the sky exhale come down inhale Can you follow your own breath?
up in neutral position, tuck the toes and on the exhalation come to downward facing dog. Come up with your right, left leg in the air, I'm sorry, three leg dog. On the exhalation, come forward. Place your knee in the mat. Double for the mat if you have a hard, like a base. And then just find your root lock, mid lock, and stretch the, the uh, front part of your hip. You're very welcome to bend your knee, grab your foot. Let go of the foot. And we're gonna straighten up our leg. You have a micro bending here. And then lean forward. Now we're going to combine those two stretches in a very painful stretch. We're going to go two words. This one. And this is as far I can go. So go, you know, just as far as you can. And we're going to hold it here. Two more breaths. Oh. oh God. So painful. It comes downward facing dog. And feel if there's any difference on your left and your right side. come up with your right leg on the exhalation come forward with your right foot place your left knee in the mat and inhale come up find your root lock find your mid lock if you want, bend your knee and grab your foot. Otherwise you work where you were. Bending and exit control. This is the difference, you know. <laughs> My left leg is so so stiff, the right leg is not as stiff.
great job. Great, great job. <laughs> We're gonna come to child's pose. Taylor's position. Sit down on your sitting bones. We're gonna finish the class with a short meditation. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. And let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you spend some time just for yourself. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come, just you, in this moment. Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're gonna finish the class together with three shanti. So place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Place your palms to your forehead for you to think and thought through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. I'll see you guys tomorrow.